Let's begin the video with a few warm-up questions. Question 1. Which of the following is a compound subject? The dog barks. The cat and the dog bark. The bird sings. The tree grows. Question 2. Identify the compound subject in the sentence. Sarah and her friends are planning a trip. Sarah. Her friends. Sarah and her friends. A trip. So, are you confident with your answers? If not, don't worry, we'll be delving into this topic in today's video. Hello, and welcome to Explified. Today, we're diving into a fundamental aspect of English grammar that can help make your sentences more dynamic and descriptive, compound subjects. Understanding and using compound subjects effectively can enhance your communication skills. So, let's explore what compound subjects are, where and when to use them, why they matter, and see some practical examples. What are compound subjects? A compound subject comprises two or more subjects that share the same verb. These subjects are typically joined by coordinating conjunctions such as and, or, or nor. For instance, in the sentence, John and Mary went to the store, John and Mary form a compound subject. Where are compound subjects? Compound subjects can be found in all types of writing and speech. They are instrumental in sentences where multiple entities perform the same action, providing clarity and variety. You might encounter them in everyday conversations, literature, academic writing, and even in instructions or lists. When are compound subjects? Compound subjects are used when you want to convey that multiple subjects are performing the same action. They help in avoiding repetition and making sentences more concise. For example, instead of saying, John went to the store, Mary went to the store, you can say, John and Mary went to the store. Why are compound subjects? Using compound subjects makes your writing and speech more efficient and less redundant. It allows you to combine related ideas into a single sentence, enhancing readability and flow. This grammatical structure helps in emphasizing the collective action of multiple subjects, making your message clearer. Let us look at some examples of compound subjects. The teacher and the students discuss the project. Either the cat or the dog knocked over the vase. Neither the rain nor the wind could stop the parade. Example in a sentence. Tom and Jerry are classic cartoon characters. Apples, oranges, and bananas are my favorite fruits. Example of a conversation. Tina, do you think Sarah and Mark will come to the party? Yes, John, Sarah, and Mark said they wouldn't miss it for anything. It's quiz time. Which of the following sentences contains a compound subject? The sun shines brightly. The sun and the moon are visible. The stars twinkle. The night is calm. Answer. The sun and the moon are visible. Identify the compound subject. Neither the coach nor the players were ready for the game. The coach, the players, the game, the coach and the players. Answer. The coach and the players. Choose the sentence with a compound subject. The bird sings and dances. The cat sleeps. The car and the bike are parked outside. The dog runs fast. Answer. The car and the bike are parked outside. What joins the subjects in a compound subject? Adverbs. Conjunctions. Prepositions. Pronouns. Answer. Conjunctions which is a compound subject. The rain falls heavily. The rain and the wind are strong. The wind blows. The sun sets. Answer. The rain and the wind are strong. So that's it for this video. Thank you for joining us on this journey to understand compound subjects. By using compound subjects, you can make your sentences more engaging and effective. Have you noticed compound subjects in your favorite books or movies? Share your examples in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting grammar tips from Explified. See you next time.